Please all, my dandavats, my loving embrace. I ask for your blessings and your mercy and thank you for being eager to to hear from Srila Naratum Das Thakur. By the blessings of Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas, even a, you know, a dumb person can speak and a lame person can walk and a blind can see. <laughs> So I would like to start with the verse from Prema Bhakti Chandrika 113. And uh, it's a verse about the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of Gauranga and of course of Gaurangi. Because as we know, it is so closely connected to have a relationship to go Ranga means to get the relationship to Radha and Mohan and to understand their Leela and to feel how they have come and come to distribute it to this beautiful Danya Kali Yuga, this auspicious Kali Yuga, where all the fallen souls can come in contact with Prema Bhakti by causeless mercy. <laughs> so Naratam Das Thakur is glorifying Krishna who accepted Radha's mood. Navadvi Avatara Radha Bhava Angikara Bhava Kanti Angera Busha Tina Vancha Abilasi Sachi Garbe Parakashi Sange Saba Parishadaga Navat Vipi Avatar Descending to Navat Vip, he accepted Radha's mood. Radha Baba Angikara and decorated his body with her feelings and luster. Who is this? Krishna. He accepted Radharani's mood and decorated his body with her feelings and her aura, the wonderful golden color of her divine love. Having three divine desires, he manifested himself in the womb of Mother Sachi and performed pastimes with all of his eternal associates. So this is a beautiful, beautiful verse. And I felt because we are coming closer now, to Param Guru Dev's appearance, to Nityananda's appearance, and then to Goranga Mahaprabhu's holy appearance, then is a good verse to get into the feeling of Gora Lila and how it is bringing us, connecting us with Radharani's mercy and her feelings. So this is about the three desires. In this Tripadhi, the blessed author has defined the chief reason for Sri Krishna's appearing as Sriman Mahaha Prabhu's avatar. First he says, Navadvipe avatara, Radha Bhava Angikara, Bhava Kanti Angela Bhushana. the Lord of Sri Radhika's life, Rajendra Nandana Sri Krishna has accepted the mood and the complexion of Sri Radha and descended to Navadvip as Sri Gauranga, decorating his body with her mood and complexion. 
Out of greed after Sri Radharani's sweet emotion, Sri Krishna has accepted all of her feelings, such as Madana, Modana, and Mohana, and he covered his own blue complexion with her golden luster. So this is so sweet, isn't it? That Krishna is decorating his body with Radharani's mood. We may think that, oh, why he didn't do it in Brajalila? There he can always be together with her in the secret meetings. Isn't Krishna able to you know, understand Shimate Radhika's mood by being Krishna in Vrindavan? Why he is descending to fulfill these three desires? And here Baba says, out of greed. So this greed, we always hear we have to be greedy. So Krishna is the most greedy person. And he, what is he greedy after? What is his biggest desire? He wants to feel Radhika's emotions, her sweet emotions. And I have read many times also from all other teachers that he cannot do it in Brajabhav. Right, Gurudev? There he is, the Dira, Lalita, you know, the careless prince. He can roam around. He can play with his boyfriends, with the Lost. Come back to your movie yet. Are you okay? Or is it hard? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh Jai Radha, sorry, internet became low. But I hope now you can hear again? Yes. yes. So he, he could not uh, fulfill internet his desires now. in Raja Leela. Mm -hmm. Because it was not possible for him to be completely absorbed all the time. Because Shimati Radhika's emotions are so sweet and so deep that it took her mercy to help him to feel what she feels in her love to him. But Suniti, it's also it's a it's two different kinds of love, isn't it? In Braj Lila. Now with the gopis, I mean, Krishna is enjoying directly their veneration of the gopis. But here it's not that he wants to enjoy Radharani's love. He wants to enjoy her, the feeling she has of love for him. It's a completely yes. different kind of story. Yes, you are right. I agree. This is a very uh, sweet, mm -hmm. deep way to feel that the difference that he feels now when he comes as Goranga, he's relishing only, you know, with this one goal. And that goal is to go and find, you know, help also from Radharani's servants like Swarup Damoda, who is Lalita, and Ramananda Roy, who is Vishaka to find uh, somehow the entrance into the deepest, deepest ecstasies of Srimati Radhika. And in Vrindavan, yes, he has to serve many. He is taking all the love of the gopis, of the cowherd boys, like I said, all these different loves 
they have one, you know, each of them have a special quality to make him happy and to, you know, be his mother, his father, and all these different bhavas that the devotees have in Rindavan. But here now, as Goranga, he goes in a complete one-pointed direction to feel how Shrimati Radhika feels for him. He has already said that I am the pupil, I am the student now. He Before he's the object, but now he becomes the subject. He is learning how to be a lover. Right? Usually he is the object of love. Usually he is the lover that everyone wants to love. He is used to that in his mood as cowherd boy in beautiful, beautiful blue Shyama Sundar. But now this blue is swallowed by the golden love that Shrimati Radhika has, by her golden, you know, selfless love that she is experiencing on levels that he could never, never feel when he is a Purusha, when he is the enjoyer. He cannot go, you know, beyond that. But now he wants to feel and taste how it feels to be a lover, how it feels to be Shimati Radhika in her love to Mohan. So, yeah, that is the secret of uh, the Leela of Gauranga. Yeah. And he had so the to... message for... Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I, I like Mahaprabhu to be interrupted. <laughs> The message from Mahaprabhu is that we all need to go to lovers' school. Yes. And learn how to be lovers yes. of God. Yes. We need to go in the school of the gopis, if you so want. We need to go into the school of Srimati Radhika. She is the highest and the source of all. And only in her in her uh, followership, in her membership, <laughs> in becoming a member of her group, of her love, of servants, you know, of Shrimati Radhika's love, we can uh, enter Braja Lila. That is also the message. There are many, many uh, lovely messages and and they all have their own taste. They all have their own relish. But yeah, Krishna is becoming a pupil, a student. He wants to learn how to love because his love is a, of one of acceptance. He's accepting the love of all the living entities. And here he wants to learn how to give love. <laughs> And that's why, as a side effect also, he's giving this Prema Bhakti and all, also especially this Bhavo Lasrati, this highest feeling and service or as, a, as a Dasi to Srimati Radhika, as a you know, byproduct or as a, let's say, a gift of, of experiencing it himself. And Gurudev, you have always taught us so nicely over the years that how important it is to see Goranga as Srimati Radhika, who is helping Krishna to go deep in these feelings and to feel from this side also. Not to only see him as Krishna who wants to become a devotee and be and feel a devotee, but how Srimati Radhika is helping Mohan to go so deep into her emotions that he is more or less swallowed. You know, his bluish complexion is completely, completely covered by the golden feelings and the golden path of Srimati Radhika. So in this regard, we can also feel that Doranga Mahaprabhu is always walking around in Nikunja Lila. He's always in the divine embrace of Srimati Radhika. 
He is greedy and he wants the sweet emotions. So chanting with this feeling is a soul. It goes very, very uh, deep. If, if we chant Mahamantra with the feelings of, of Goranga's mood in this divine embrace that Gurudev has given us so beautifully, that they are actually embracing themselves all the time when Goranga is, is having his Leela. Hey, and Shrida, if you want to add something, please. <laughs> I always love to hear my Shrida Baya. You don't ignore me now. <laughs> So, Krishna has accepted all her feelings, such as Madana, Modana, and Mohana. That is this feelings that Krishna cannot grasp in Vrindavan. He has to feel how she feels, and that is very impossible for him. He cannot, he is a foreigner, like Gurudev always say, you say he's a foreigner, he's foreign to that. He doesn't know how it feels to be a lover of God. That's why also he wants to feel like a mandrari. And in his highest ecstasies, when he's coming close to that and he's completely absorbed in these feelings, then he's seeing himself as a little puppy who's picking flowers. So we learn to see Mohan in service of Srimati Radhika and in service also to the Rasa Leela, to the dancing, to the sharing and, you know, all the services that we also would like to learn. Mohan also is learning as Goranga with the mercy of Gorangi. And then from that perspective, the Gora Leela becomes so relishable. It is, of course, sometimes mind blowing to feel how is, you know, how is it all happening? And I know it took and it takes me still, you know, always like a, it needs some help, some mercy to, to enter into that feeling. But on the other hand, it is also so simple that uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has said that even a small child can, can understand it. Like we have said, by the mercy of Shiguru, the dumb, they can speak, the lame can walk, and the blind can learn how to see. And what we want to see, we want to see, I would like to see myself also in the service of Goranga as a, you know, Dasi who would like to learn how to serve Srimati Radhika. And they come together now. Before Krishna comes alone, but now they come together. And that is so merciful. So Krishna has this uh, black color. And no matter with what color the black Krishna color mixes, no color is powerful enough to cover the color black altogether. That's also a very beautiful uh, picture that Krishna's color is powerful. <laughs> Krishna's bath is powerful. But Shrimati Radhika's golden complexion has such a wonderful power that it covers over Shri Krishna's very confidential black color and thus fully extends its luster over it. So, that is the glory of Shrimati Radharani's love. Her love is so much bigger and so much more powerful than Krishna's love that in her presence and in her, how do you say, studentship, he becomes able to enter into that mood of her feelings. 
She has given him blessings. She has given him the uh, complexions and the mood. Sri Krishna's deep blackish complexion is not able to darken Sri Radha's molten gold complexion even slightly. So that is also a very lovely point. That Krishna's deep black or his deep Purusha Bhav, you know, he is the supreme. He's got, you know, this amazing love that every living entity loves him. But Shri Radhika, he, she will not be impressed by this blackish guy. Her golden, molten golden complexion is not uh, in the slightest changed. Her mood of love, her deepest feelings are not changed by any of his uh, prowesses, by any of his powers. No, it's it's her who is melting him. Shimati Radhika is melting Mohan. That's the glory of her love, of her prem. That's why when when Mohan comes in the influence of Shimati Radhika's feelings, he has the highest, highest uh, expression of himself. That's when he becomes golden. That's when he can express and feel the highest mercy. And this, this complexion is, is he is decorating himself. He's absorbing himself. And he becomes she. And they together are distributing this, this deepest feelings. So I like that, that Krishna is greedy and that he, he wants to decorate himself. And we know also from Radharas Sudanidi and from uh, all the description of when are the mandaris most happy? When Krishna is decorating Srimati Radhika. When he is serving her. When he becomes so much overwhelmed that he is serving her. He is taking on her mood. And then she, he wants to also, you know, paint her lo for lotus feet and put this name there. And sometimes he cannot do it because his concentration is again becoming less. And then the mandri say, oh, let me do it. You cannot concentrate. You, you get out of your mind. You get lost. Sweetie? Yes? What means that uh, he's, uh, Krishna is outwardly Krishna and inwardly Gaura? <laughs> Which one is it? Right in the middle of the paragraph there. In this way, it oh, is yes. as, if, yeah. as if he has accepted Sri Radha's luster as his bodily decoration, revealing himself as outwardly Krishna and inwardly Gaura. Well, he appears... Often he appears as, as the Supreme Lord sometimes, you know. For example, in the beginning of Gora Lila, when all the devotees like Nityananda and Shivas, they were in uh, Navadvipdam, then there were some situations where Krishna was more prominently visible or expressed than Gora's mood. For example, when Nityananda was uh, being uh, offended or hurt by Jagai and Madai, we all know this Leela, this pastime, then Goranga was reaching out of you know, the hand in the air and was calling his chakra. So we can see 
that he was there in, you know, uh, more in his Vishnu mood. He was calling Chakra Chakra. So, you know, Gora or Krishna as Gora, he also had to become fixed in the moods of Srimati Radhika. We can see that his whole life was a succession also of becoming more and more uh, uh, into Radha Bhav. But at that moment, for example, he was revealing his Vishnu Bhav or more the Krishna controller Bhav and he wanted even to punish uh, Jagai. So at that time, he was outwardly Krishna. He was, but then Nityananda said, Oh, you have not come this time to kill the demons. If you want to kill the demons and the, the living entities who are very fallen, you can call, kill all of them in Kali Yuga because we are all in this category. But slowly, slowly, he reminded him. You have come to be the most merciful avatar. You want to transform the heart of the living entities with love, by love and by mercy. So we can see that even Krishna, when he comes to be Shimati Radhika's das or dasi, <laughs> to learn how to feel like her, he needed some time. He had some development. We have discussed this before that we see that he had different baths. And that's why also in, in the uh, Jagannath Puri Lila, he went to Gambira to this very uh, deep and mystical place where he could concentrate and be guided into Radha Bhav by Swarup Damoda and Ramananda Roy. Do you agree, Gurudev? Is this correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Ram is uh, Radha. And his name is Krishna. Gora <laughs> <laughs> is the name of who is a white. So Radhika is golden inside hiding, but outside he behaves. Inside emotions, feelings, emotion. yeah. keeping up rather. Yeah. Right. Yes. Thank you, Gurudev. He had to also develop Both his are, feelings. It's interesting. Yeah, one body, two souls. Hmm. We know that he was first the pandit, no? First, he was a very clever speaker and scholar, and then he, he became initiated uh, into Mahamantra, and then he lost more and more his external interest into society and, and scholarship. And he was also with his own life showing some development to go more and more deep, also to give an example and to show us that well, if you want to go into the service of Srimati Radhika, by the mercy of Nitai Goranga, we need to really go uh, deep into our feelings. We cannot try to understand it only from the head or from the intelligence. It is actually so that for the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, the tattva or the knowledge of all that is happening in the different leelas like Radha and Praja Leela or in uh, Navadvip or Goranga Leela, Tattva is only uh, going to some level, is only necessary to one level until we can enter more into the feelings of that. And that also Lord Chaitanya has shown in his life that uh, always, again and again, he needed the help of his close associates who were all the mandris and the sakis of Shrimati Radhika. And they uh, read to him uh, beautiful poesy, poems, and they sing to him beautiful songs so that he can enter more and more into the Radha bath and to go and relish this in his own way, 
so that Krishna can fulfill all of his desires by the mercy of Shrimati Radhika and her dasis. So it is said that Sri Krishna has accepted Sri Radha's golden complexion on his own body like a decoration. He is smearing his own body with this golden power of her Mahabhav. He is serving that mood. And distributing it at the same time. In the same way, Sri Krishna was decorated with the ornaments of Sri Radharani's emotions, her bhavas, like tears and goose pimples, like dancing and rolling around and other wonderful anubhavas, like Kumakriti retracting the limbs like a turtle, or Ashtasandivi yoga when the joints of the bones become disconnected. And in this way, he relished his own sweetness in Sri Radha's mood. So he became overwhelmed by the feelings of Shrimati Radhika, who embraced him like in a sandwich, like the sandwich Example we know very well. It's uh, <laughs> Shimati Radhika on one side and on the other side and inside is Krishna and he's relishing. He She's helping him to experience this, how she feels in her relation to him. And he was especially eager after the deeper feelings of Shimati Radhika, which are called here Madana, Modana, and Mohana. These are very deep feelings that she has. On the one hand, when she is together with him, that she feels separation. And this is a kind of ecstasy that he also is like so amazed by that. And we have this picture when Shimati Radhika is sitting on the lap of Krishna, but she's crying because she's missing him. And on the other hand, when she is in separation from him, she is embracing the Tamal tree. And she, she is so much in this feelings of separation that she is, is uh, experiencing uh, a meeting. And that happens also, for example, when she is sleeping. Then she also is dreaming about Krishna. And all these uh, wonderful, wonderful emotions that have such a high expression of pure love, Krishna could not, uh, he was fainting. He was fainting when he was, you know, feeling this. He is fainting. So when he becomes Goranga or he is under her uh, scholarship of Prem, so to say, when he becomes the the student of Prem, then by the help of the other Dasis who were there to sing songs and to uh, recite poems like Chandi Das and Vidyapati, there are different, different uh, poems. Then Mahaprabhu could feel the Radha, Madanakya Mahabhav, Mohanabhav, all these different feelings. And then he became so much in ecstasy that he could even walk through stone, through the cells of the Gambira. <laughs> Kaviraj Goswami Pad, Krishna Das Kaviraj, describes Mahaprabhu's wonderful Bhava Lankaras, his ornaments of ecstasy, as he described how the Lord danced in front of Lord Jagannath's chariot in Nilachala or Jagannath Puri. 
So now comes the description of how Mahaprabhu's body was transformed in different, different uh, ways. The tears were falling from his eyes or squirting like water from a syringe. The tears were like, not like our tears, they were going drop by drop, but his tears were like, uh, like a waterfall. It came out of his eyes when he was dancing in front of Lord Jagannath's car. And his complexion was changing. He had different, different, you know, colors of his skin. And his uh, whole body became transformed by these sattvika bhavas, by these special feelings. That is also known that prema on the highest level cannot be experienced by this ordinary um, material body because prema is crushing the body uh, somehow in a special way because it has such a high uh, energy. So then I want to continue to the last paragraph because I thought this was most uh, inspiring. When Krishna says in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, through my pastimes, I taught the devotees how to practice Raga Nuga Bhakti. I thought this was so nice because also, Gurudev, you always tell us to become one pointed. In Raga Nuga Bhakti, we need to become one pointed on the love and on the being of a, you know, servant of love being a Dasi, and even, you know, Mahaprabhu himself was showing by his examples how to practice that. He became more and more a servant of Srimad Radhika's feelings. He was relishing the feelings, he was carried away by these feelings, and that was what he wanted to give to this world. And that's why many devotees, if we don't go from Vaidhi Bhakti into Raga Nuga or Rupa Nuga feelings, it is not easy to enter these uh, realms of Bhakti. It's not that we can only hear about it theoretically. It is about feeling it. Feeling it means to go deep inside to live in this and living in this is not only something external by showing that i am a big devotee or something or i know so many uh, verses or i mean it's beautiful if, if someone is so absorbed that they can learn the verses but even if we cannot learn so many verses and if we don't have so many deep, uh, uh, you know, book knowledge, if we have the feelings to serve Shimati Radhika, if we want to serve and understand deeply why Nitai Goranga have appeared, to give glorification of Srimati Radhika and of Braja Lila, then it is it's all coming to us. So through my pastimes, I teach the devotees how to practice Raga Nuga Bhakti. And these three desires of mine were not fulfilled. 
Krishna had these three desires to go deep. How is the, you know, how is how is Shrimati Radhika's love? How can I relish it? And what is the sweetness that she relishes in me when she is loving me? And he understands that is actually all uh, in Chaitanya Chaitamrita that these objectives, these desires that he had cannot be relished when one is in a contrary mood. That is again, Udavaji, uh, your answer. Krishna himself realized that in a mood of a Purusha, of the supreme enjoyer, of the one who is the beloved of everyone, he cannot relish how it is to be a lover of the divine. The contrary mood is the mood of a controller, a lover, or someone who is the object. Krishna had to become the subject. He had to come into the mood of a dasi, of a servant of Shrimati Radhika. That's why also when he had these transformations of becoming a Kurmakriti, these turtles, you know, these feelings of the limbs going inside or being elongated, this was all when he was seeing himself as the servant of the gopis when Radha and Mohan enter a cave in Govardhan Hill, for example. And we can also feel and understand that the scriptures, they give a hint. But when we come deeper in our own feelings of being a Dasi of Shrimati Radhika, there can be more and more revelations about these feelings. Like Gurudev said many times, when I come more in my eternal constitutional position as a Dasi of Shrimati Radhika, then the Leela will start more and more to unfold. And the services will become more uh, um, deeper. And the feelings will become more uh, obvious. So I'm not there. I am just, uh, I like to glorify that, what I have heard from you, Gurudev, and what I have read by the mercy of Naratom Das Thakwa, because we can understand that Naratom Das Thakwa, and through his mercy, we can feel the remnants of that Prema Bhakti that is now still circulating here, and especially in Vrindavan, in the mood of this service to Srimati Radhika. This Prema is never stopped. It is always available, and it can be felt more and more according to the desire and greed that any devotee might have to come closer to that feeling. And what is the qualification to look with the eyes of love and to be in these feelings all day long. And then also I found another uh, quote that is also very inspiring, that the pastimes will reveal themselves in the heart of the listener by service to Shiguru in the Parampara. This inspires me very much. The pastimes, they are self-manifest. It's not that I can press, you know, like on a material level that the pastimes will come to me. I can cry for that. I can pray for that. I can uh, have a good help of my friends who have also this greed and have this eagerness. But I cannot push this. I cannot press it. Gurudev, you said this to me so many times. We cannot press mercy because I am also a quite passionate person who likes to press on control. <laughs> but it does not work like this. Yesterday's class was about humility. That was so sweet. And that is the key to pray. To be more soft and more receiving, like in the mood of Shrimati Radhika. 
So we also serve the mood of Srimati Radhika. We will, we want to pray for that. Like Krishna wants to serve her moods. We also pray for that, that we may get mercy of Gurudev, who is already deeply, deeply in the feelings of the Dasi Bhav. That also some drops will come into my heart. That also my heart may become more soft and more receiving and lesser holds. And that my capacity to to feel will be somehow expand on different levels. That is my prayer today, Gurudev, and I I pray for your mercy that you will help me more and more as you have helped me already. Radha, Radha. I see very beautiful you telling about this. I remember Prabhupada and I in his book also very crystal clear mentions this. Second thing, we serve to love. This is the nature of love. Service only to be learned how to love. And you see that Jesus is also teaching service of love. His teaching is only how to serve his father <coughs> in his son relationship. Love cannot move without relation and intimacy. Page 4, if you see in Bhagavad Gita, intimacy, intimate relation is mentioned there. And son is very intimate. Then he can see father. I, you believe that son cannot see father, he imagine only father? I can believe. Son, if not looking to his father, means he is not a son. Son means see father. I have to see my boss. The boss is not in my eyes and my head. Then she's not a boss. Some other boss is sitting on my head. Right? So how to be servant of love when you make to the boss to the love? Means how to to become servant to always ready to serve in love. That is the stage. Don't you for seven? Every moment you have to be conscious to serve in love. And this service is the service of Radhika. Love at the flow. One flow, the waves. You see the ocean? There is a flow. Waves are coming. And if you go in that waves, they will catch you and bring inside the ocean. You have to very cautious to stand near to the waves. So this is the <laughs> of love is rather is a dara. Dara is a flow. 
but Radha, the waves only one pointed going up is Radha. Mm. After his lover, that is Radha. No diversion, no different through one pointedly, only for his lover. That lover, one pointedness is Radha. So, so Miss God, Krishna, want to realize this mode. He's a farmer. As a creator, how know the love? He is a mathematician. He is minus looking. You do for me, I will do for you. You do four times, I will do sixteen times. He is a business. He is a mathematics. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. I have to do first eight times, then he will do sixteen times to me. Oh, oh good. <laughs> that he will do double for me. <laughs> but he's a mathematics. If I know that, then he will not do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> So even God want to learn. He's a foreigner for this land. You want to be a student. So I cannot. Without becoming I'm a master, and I will learn something here. Impossible. Master has to be student to learn the things. <laughs> he has to go. Uh, have to forget. In Hindi they say, Prem na bari upajai, Prem na heart bikai. Raja, Praja, Jai Hindu, Jai, she said they Means if you want to go to cultivate this love in the, your farmhouse, if you have a big farmhouse, I want to cultivate this love in that, there is no seed available. <laughs> <laughs> you go in America to buy. In supermarket, what is the name of the big supermarket in America? Walmart. 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 <laughs> yeah, I know. Walmart, and I say, you have some love in your market, in your rack. I want to buy it. He says, sorry, we don't know this business. <laughs> only this love can only pass through. Who's ready to crucify? Crucify means not dying. Giving yourself. Atman is Offering yourself. Offering yourself is not dying. Jesus never died. He still is love us out there. <laughs> Lovers never die. He give himself to the love. And it's endless. He love that. And it's endless. Endless. His love never stops for flowing for that. That is <coughs> prema. 
he is a king or if he is a small beggar if he want to learn okay he has to give himself <laughs> he has to offer himself for that if you are ready for that you will get it how you have to ready you have to read, give yourself your all material desire and wishes for this life you will receive it if you the beggar or is a big king no problem but he has to give him so this is the radhika my swamini my boss if you want she is always open like a mother to give her breast to you feed you develop your spirituality inside love to you you see why mother is feed breast feeding only she give her love in the babies body and how the baby don't like small and in one month it is buying her so big <laughs> when she come out from the wound of the mama wow. and in one month it starts feeding the breast oh my god growing like anything rather this is the best feeling of love radhe rad time is finishing jananda maharaj comes and he want to say something what is you want to say no i i did not to no anything No, you know everything. No, 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 no. You are the source of knowledge to us. No, no, no. I just, I just did that as a class. Yeah. So, so today, which topic? It's love topic. <laughs> For a difference, we're talking about. And when in Dalvin Dam, you go to the Walmart. <laughs> and you ask for bread and milk and they say no we only have love here <laughs> wow sorry <laughs> and Amazing. it's for free it's for free <laughs> it's for free you can think of a day when you what is much is you want how much i yeah. yeah. want to as we say and if you want and they are all beggars <laughs> yeah you should see them for a status financially and living for each other they are not well to do <laughs> after that they are ready to go <coughs> this your brother italian he went to bed in a house he is a rich guy and he went to beg to the chapati say in italian to her she is also italian <laughs> <laughs> you know the Italian, or no? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. He will say you when he went to Beggy, half a million house, and he went to Beggy. I didn't see that. In Italy, he went. Here, here. Yeah. Ah, it was a nice experience. I think that. No, it is only Italian. Only Italian. Ah. 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 Mi hanno guardato e mi hanno detto di no. Mi prendevano. Sì, sì. Uh-huh. È importante prendere dei cereali che, <laughs> che cucinano i cibi. Sto looking for the oats you can cook. Uh, 
perché è molto importante per noi che loro ci danno il cibo che loro cuociono, in particolare c'è la moschina, perché con questo possiamo sviluppare l'amore eh, per la So you want to beg for the cereal and uh, for the love of Dada Krishna. Prima sono andato poco fa, le prime quattro persone mi hanno guardato e mi hanno detto no. The first four people, they looked in the bags and said no, we have nothing. Poi sono arrivato in una casa, era un po' aperta, c'era una grande stanza dove un signore che seva aveva una tessitrice che aveva dei tessuti. Quando ero in una big house, una big uh, living room, and there was a lady there, a signora. C'era diverse, c'era tre signore, due ragazzini. E tre luci due ragazzi. And then there were some uh... tre <laughs> Gli ho chiesto se non andavano, si sono guardati fra di loro. Ok, l'uomo mi ha portato una sedia. Ci sono seduto. They came in, there were three gentlemen and some kids. They asked for the, for the gift and the, the man brought a chair and had asked them to sit down. <coughs> e, e la moglie poi mi ha portato, mi ha portato un piatto con gli sciapati e... And the wife brought a plate with a chipati and a sandwich. Sabji. Sabji, sorry. Dopo un po' mi ha chiesto se ne vuoi ancora, però non avevo fame. Mi ha chiesto se ne voleva ancora. Ho finito, mi sono lavato, mi hanno fatto lavare. They finished the meal and they washed their hands. Mi ha lasciato una scatola di noi. Me lo offrite da Domoan? No, la scatola l'ho fatta per questa volta. Da Domoan l'ho lasciato alle persone che hanno dato le luci. So he, he gave one of these. One of these. Loro erano molto contenti. I was very happy then. In genere, tutte le persone che mi hanno dato il cibo. Le volte che sono andato sono molto felice. 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 Sono molto So wonderful that we will stretch now, huh? Sundaram. Thank you for the nice story. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we want to see you next to your husband, but it seems to me it's, it's okay. strange. No, no, it's okay. Sometimes we can. <laughs> <laughs> They're inseparable, but <laughs> usually inseparable. I have only one question. Um, you know, we often hear that we should take refuge with the Lord and take refuge with Radharani. And as a refugee myself, for my parents who are refugees, you have to first be in the country before you can ask for asylum. And also in this regard, You have to first be in the land of the Lord before you can ask 
to take refuge. Right. And I'm just wondering how to get uh, permanent residency <laughs> in the land of the Lord. In the land of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Hmm? How to get permanent residence here? Answer. <laughs> hmm. So when we come to a, a new land, a foreign country, right? As we're leaving the old behind and entering the new, we need somebody who can guide us, right? Who can take us to the right offices and where we can get like our shelter, our food. In the beginning, we are empty. We have to come. We come with nothing, right? These refugees, we, they normally come with nothing. So I think we have to first leave all what we have learned from before, like leave that and come with a very open heart to the land of the Lord and ask for sincere guidance and find the right navigator to maneuver us through all the different offices, the bureaucracy, right? so that we don't get lost in the bureaucracy so we go straight and get the paper we need Daddy, Daddy, Gopinath. Daddy, Daddy, Gopinath? we don't hear you yeah. clearly maybe you can closer to the mic is it possible to try Whoa. Um, no just to make it very short um when we want to enter a new land, we come as refugees, we have to leave everything behind us, right? Our job, our identity, all what we have learned, all our concepts, and we come into a new land, and then we have to find somebody who can help us to navigate and find our place in this new land. So I feel like what Mira was asking is how to get permanent residency in the new land of the Lord is we have to find the servant of the Lord who is very close to the Lord and can show us the direct way so don't we don't get lost because there are many paths also in a new land. So the best way is to go directly to to the navigator, in our case to the spiritual master, to Gurudev, who can do like some shortcuts for us that so we can reach faster. Otherwise we can still enter the land of the Lord, but without the grace of the spiritual master, without the mercy of Gurudev, the Guru Parampara, as Sunidhi Didi said, to serve Gurudev and the Guru Parampara, then automatically everything will be uh, smoothened to get those that kind of residency. <laughs> Some yeah. delays can be expected. <laughs> <laughs> You need a foster home. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Thank you for sharing all.